Have you ever heard people talk about a 4x2 or 6x4 and thought, what on earth does that mean? Then you have come to the right video, as we will explain to you the meaning of the different axle configurations and talk about the advantages of each of them. So what do the numbers mean? To know the difference between the different types of trucks and to know how many wheels it has, whether they are towing and whether the axle is rotatable, you use axle configuration numbers that tell you which vehicle you are dealing with. So let's take a look at the different axle configurations. Four by two means that there are four wheels on the vehicle and two of them are powered. So there is a front axle that turns and a rear axle where the power from the powertrain is delivered to. The configuration is very common on trucks around in Europe, as it is a very fuel-friendly configuration. You don't have unnecessary axles to worry about, which cost weight and fuel. Also, you typically have a shorter turning radius, which makes it more maneuverable. This is typically used for long-distance transport, with a fixed trailer behind, and fits perfectly with most weight limits around in Europe. Four by four means that you have four wheels on the vehicle and that four of them are powered. So it has power on the wheels on both the front and the rear. This configuration is used on trucks who need good grip or for off-road driving, as it has increased traction and stability, which makes them great at handling adverse weather conditions, whether we are talking snow, mud, and so on. However, they are typically more expensive to purchase and more expensive to maintain. Six by two means that there are six wheels on the vehicle and that two of them are powered. A six by two can be a six by two hyphenated two, which means that there is a trailing axle, also known as a tag axle. Some brands also use the little star symbol, also called asterisk, to symbolize the tag axle, where a slash in the end means there is a forward axle, which both typically is liftable. The number behind the hyphen or slash tells us if the axle is rotatable, if it's a 2, it's fixed, and if it's a 4, it's rotatable. Some also refer to them as a pusher and boogie and twin steer, if the forward axle is rotatable. The 6x2 configuration is very common and is probably the most used configuration in Europe. This truck has three axles and is able with a three or four axle trailer to transport weights of up to over 60 tons, as some countries allow, and just fit in most weight and length rules around the world. Then when you're not carrying weight, you are able to lift the trailing or forward axle, which provides fuel savings and less wear and tear on tires and brakes. In addition, this type of truck also has a lower weight than a tandem, which we will get to in a moment. The 6x4 means that there are six wheels on the vehicle and that four of them are powered, also known as a tandem. Here, both your rear axles are powered by the powertrain all the time, which gives a great traction in all weather conditions. This type of configuration is commonly used in America because they are allowed to drive with 34,000 pounds on a tandem axle, where a single axle only is allowed to 20,000 pounds. This configuration is not as fuel efficient as the 6x2, as the tandem axle weighs more and you have greater tire wear. However, it does not matter so much if you depend on the possibility of the extra weight. In addition, you significantly minimize the chance of getting stuck. The 6x6 is a serious off-roader with six wheels on the vehicle and where all six are powered. This is a powerful truck, which can drive through almost any surface or terrain, which is also why this configuration is typically used on military vehicles, fire trucks, or other specially made trucks. This is typically an expensive configuration, which has poor fuel economy and which also often has very strong springs that provide poor driving comfort. You must really need the traction and the good grip to choose this configuration. That's why they are not so common. Now we have reached four axle vehicles, which is an 8x2, meaning that there are eight wheels on the vehicle and that two of them are powered. This type of truck is also with either a trailing or forward axle, or both. 
The axles can be placed as 2 and 2 or 1 and 3, depending on what the truck is going to drive with or how it's going to be built. So the weight of the truck is placed where the wheels are. If the 8x2 has three axles that are rotatable, it's called an 8x2 slash 6 because there are six wheels which can turn. This type of configuration makes the truck very maneuverable, despite being a long vehicle. The 8x2 is commonly used on trucks constructed with a crane and pallet, or with a hook lift, which offers good opportunities for driving in the city with its good turning radius. In addition, it also has a weight and fuel advantage compared to an 8x4. The 8x4 is a truck with four axles. It has eight wheels where four of them are powered, so that it has a tandem pulling axle. This type of configuration can also be with a trailing or forward axle, depending on whether the axle which is not pulling is behind or in front of the powered axles. This type of truck is commonly used in many countries as it has great grip as well as the possibility to choose the location of the axles depending on the weight distribution of the construction. The 8x8 is the king of off-roading. This type of truck has all-wheel drive on all four axles and is mostly used for military use. This is typically an expensive configuration which has poor fuel economy and which also often has very strong springs that provide poor driving comfort. You must really need the traction and the good grip to choose this configuration. That's why they are not so common. The 10x4 is a configuration with five axles and is for the most heavy-duty tasks. This truck is with five axles, where two of them are powered and the other are steering. This type of truck is still somewhat rare, but as more countries are changing their rules, more five-axle trucks are allowed in Europe, as they are allowed with a higher gross weight, making it more profitable. This is of course also a more expensive build, but for some, the extra weight might be worth it. There might be other configurations out there, but these were the most common ones, and the ones you were able to order from the truck manufacturers without having to do special reconstructions. We hope you learned something new and enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and remember to subscribe for much more.